Hey there, Aries. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of December 12th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But having said that, let's see what is going on for you <clears throat> this week. And yes. Ooh, that's interesting. Cool. So don't, uh, I would say, don't hesitate this week on anything. You start off with the uh, Queen of Diamonds. Actually a good card. Um, you know, great for finances, great for earning more money, uh, great for talking to your boss as well, especially if you are somebody who's looking for a promotion or a raise at work. If you're, yeah, I, I'd say if you're looking for like a promotion or raise at work, uh, definitely talk to your boss about it. They could be very actually very helpful um, for you, especially if you've been working hard and you haven't been getting you know something like that that you deserve. So definitely talk to your boss. It doesn't matter if they're male or female. Um, you know, it could be either or. Don't get caught up on the queen thing. Um, for the rest of you, I just feel like finances are just getting better. Um, you know, even if you're retired, you could be seeing some like investments, or you could be seeing some maybe somewhere where you put money. You could be seeing some things getting. Um, better there. I am going to jump forward a little bit here um, because I'm, on this card I'm getting that uh, if any of you had to sign paperwork and things like that um, uh, based off of some sort of investment or something that could be coming back and you might have to jump through an extra hoop. I'm getting that a lot of you uh, could just like this week could just be it's like you're at the edge of something um like financially and it's just like there's just like one more step and you're just like ugh, like i i don't want to take this extra step i think you're a lot of you are just done i don't think it's a bad thing though but i, I just want to say that i feel like I, I just see a lot of you like sighing or something over just having to take one extra step um to get something to go through this week i feel like for 90 percent of you it's something financial uh, it could be like buying a home or you know something like there's like, or getting an apartment or something like that it's like there's just like one extra thing you have to do um, and it, that you didn't think you were going to have to do or that just comes up out of the blue. But don't worry about it. I don't feel like it will, um, you know, crush the deal or anything like that. I just feel like it's that, just an extra kind of minor annoyance. But if you do it, you'll be fine. You'll get what you want. Um, you know, so again, I feel like for a lot of you, it's financial. For some of you, this could, I do feel like this could be in love as well. You, your, your week for love looks pretty good, I have to say. Um, so there could be some interesting developments around love, but... Um, Again, I feel like this could be in love as well. I feel like for some of you in love, um, especially if you are just entering into a relationship or you just meet somebody, I feel like, uh, you know, maybe they might bail or something like that on a date, but I don't want you to worry about it because it just feels like, it feels like it's a genuine, you know, there's like a genuine thing that they have to do and it does feel like that um, in the very near future, um, you'll be able to see them again and it won't be a problem. So don't get too worried about that. Uh, next, you have the Four of Clubs, um, Mercury Retrograde card. Uh, we're almost at this retrograde point. So just, you know, double check everything you do. Uh, double check all paperwork. Don't purchase anything expensive. Before you purchase something expensive, you know, just double check. Like I tell people all the time, we can't stop our lives. This computer that I've been using here for three and a half years now, uh, which works wonderfully, I, I purchased during a retrograde and you know all I did was I just made sure I really got what I wanted and I you know read about it and that that was that so just really make sure but again I, I don't want I, I I like I don't think the planets have that much control over our lives and, and you know I love astrology and I I do I read astrology books and things every single day but I still don't think it's maybe as powerful as some may seem make it seem so uh you know but just double check everything and you'll be fine this is actually also a card of mental stability coming in. So a lot of you could actually be having clear thoughts, even though retrogrades are supposed to scramble our thoughts and things. I think a lot of you could just be thinking along a better line um, this week. Next, you have the Fool in reverse. I think this came up for you last week in reverse as well. So not getting started on something that you should be getting started on. Uh, don't be afraid to start things this week. Uh, next, you have the Two of Hearts. Great card for love and more love coming in. Um, so for any of you that are single, you could be meeting somebody perfect for you this week. If you're already in a relationship, of course, uh, this is just a great card for just the relationship strengthening. And even if you're not interested in having a relationship, um, this is just a great card for, you know, meeting a new friend who becomes, you know, who you become very close with or, uh, you know, even attaching yourself to a new group of people as well. That's weird. Uh, this last quarter of, um, 
of 2016. Uh, if you notice in a lot of the past readings, there's been like a lot of, of about people joining groups and things like that. I think in 2017, I, you know, I'm going to be doing the 2017 readings today, um, next after I finish this, these weekly readings. And it'll be interesting to see because I bet that a lot of stuff about, you know, um, networking and getting together with groups of people will come up and it will come up as beneficial for people who do that. And finally, you have the lovers in reverse. Again, I think a lot of you maybe will have a choice to make this week. I also think I'm not getting the traditional meaning off of this card either. I think this is just talking about what I was talking about there in the beginning about it just looks like there might be an extra hoop or something for you to jump through this week towards some sort of goal you have or money or something that you want um, but again don't allow it to drag you down sometimes you know that can really drive us crazy right when we have that extra thing to do but uh, try not to let it affect you too much this week because it actually looks like a very successful week and I feel like again even if there is an extra hoop um, even if it delays it a week I still feel like you're going to be successful with whatever it is um, that you want so again, um, it looks good. So uh, thank you for watching and enjoy your week.